So that's kind of the face, face look for today. And it became a little bit darker, but I really like the, the green as a whole, you know, to use it all over like that. By itself almost, it's a really pretty like dark and warm green. Yeah, not one of those grayish greens, it's actually a, like a golden green. And the lips are really pink, so what else? And a little bit on the cheeks, I hope I didn't overdo it on the cheeks again. It's really easy for me to overdo the blush and the bronzer, but you know, I'm trying to learn. <laughs> yeah, well, have a really good uh, weekend. It's Friday and uh, see you next time. Eye lip primer, get a Just here a little bit, kind of to make the right, right, to make a nicer lip color a bit. And I'm blending it out a little bit like that. I'm really not putting a lot of that one. Also on the other side, and there a bit, tiny bit under, of course in the crease, and blend it out a tiny bit, like that. Nail color for today, it's without a top coat because it's so shiny, and it's a OPI Pompeii Purple. It's a really strange kind of curl, color because it's like also red in it a warm kind of red then it becomes pink fuchsia purple yeah very special color and very nice for the eyebrows i'm just um, filling them in a tiny little bit with these colors with um, first of all the gold the yellow and um, taupe color in the inner part and on the other part the darker brown and the Top. First for the crease I will apply some of this light kind of brown, but it's really nice in the crease, in the fluffy brush. And I'm kind of keeping my bangs down because it's getting ideas if I start to put it on the side. So I'm really applying this color kind of here, a little bit all over, mostly here in the crease, but really like letting it go kind of all over a bit as a base because it's kind of, it's not too dark, not too light. It's really like a color that in between. On the brown one, I'm just using a usual compact powder like that, kind of a yellowy toned one. And I'm applying it actually with the same fluffy brush today. Why not? On my skin, I already have um, uh, La Roche-Posay BB Cream, the lightest color. They have like just two colors, I think. So I added the lightest color. Oh, loose hair. Well, it's uh, not to doing too much, you know, but it's definitely doing something. Even to my, you know, doesn't cover too much, it just gives some kind of a little something and it's only 20 SPF I believe so there's not much, you know, sunscreen in it, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. But it's good for the skin, you know, La Roche-Posay. I have a few other products and they're really good for my skin. I actually started using it because of my uh, dermatologist, so you know. <laughs> so now I'm taking a like a really small brush like that and a darker green from here which is, there's some gold in it it's like a moss uh, green I think with some gold in it something like that and I will just you know pack it on kind of here I kind of want it just down there and then just uh, slightly blend it upward, maybe. A brush like this for blending. Between those, you know, kind of blending it light out from the other palette. I would just take this uh, light gold 
whitish gold again like I usually do for the inner corner I don't want to overpower the you know the green look to this I just really love this color so I want to use that one today I am taking this um, middle color though that one with a flat brush another flat brush and I'm going slightly here and a little bit here kind of to blend it in a bit better so just blending those two together a bit more like that I'm gonna just smudge uh, like uh, instead of doing a real eyeliner I'm just using these from Bolshoi it's the brown and the black in the intense uh, line that they have. I'm just taking some mineral eyeshadow sealant like that. This is just from Il Maquillage. It's like an Israeli brand here. I think they sell over like uh, in Europe as well. I'm not sure. Sometimes I hear people say something about it but you know not too much. Yeah so I'm just pushing it in. Now it's uh, wet, you know, and then you get a little bit more out from it. It's not exactly the right brush for it, but you know. I will still go over it with it uh, dry to kind of smudge it in a bit more. I'm just taking a brush like that, taking a, from a dry part of the eyeshadows, the brown and the black. I'm going over it again. A tiny bit of this green one still, because I feel like it kind of... I'm using just this brush. I feel like it kind of disappeared here a bit in the corner. With the black. It wasn't that strong to begin with, you know. Me and when I start with these kind of colors, I easily just get it smoky and, you know, the usual way. <laughs> if you notice something getting darker here. Well, you know. <laughs> Taking this one again to blend it a bit. Because, yeah, now it really needs some blending. Again, everything you kind of add something more, you have to blend. That's kind of the way it goes, right? Taking this, yeah, it's a big brush, but anyway, I have to clean it, so I'm just smoothing it out a bit at the same time. Because I need to go under and clean it with Bioderma, anyways, under the eyes. The way I started this smokiness. Well, never mind. Now some serious cleaning here. So I'm just using a Q-tip to begin with, with the Bioderma. So I will kind of get it a bit uh, more precise. And then smooth it. I'm using just this um, Bolshoi Healthy Mix number 51. I will let it go down, you know, because it's also this color is off kind of. Instead of going on with a, with a sponge, where you you know really need to to go over with something. I try to to buff it in lightly with a brush like this. I could have it slightly dampened maybe. Yeah, but I will do it dry today. See how it works dry. This is something I start to try and use lately instead of instead of my fingers since I have now nails. I can't just go you know and dab everything in with my fingers. And then you have the fingerprints. And I don't like sponges, you know, so it's you have to find way other ways of doing stuff then. I really don't like a sponge, you know, for yeah. I like it the first time. After I clean it, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Even if it looks clean and everything. I still don't like it. Yeah. I'm trying to be really light like that and then a little bit concealer here and that should be it. I'm using those up because they're drying my skin, I'm telling you, I'm saying it every time. You know, and it's, you know, there's a lot in those. It seems like it's forever, you know. It seems like I have them forever. But they dry up, they're long wearing, yeah, but they also dry up on the skin. And I, 
my skin doesn't look good with those kind of products anymore, even if you know. Even if I live in a climate where you kind of need those kind of things, if you want your makeup to stay on for a long time. Kind of just dabbing it in like that. But when your skin is getting a bit drier and more wrinkly and then it's harder to, to use these products that stay a long time. In my opinion. Yeah. So if you have thin skin and it's getting looser and a bit, you know, droopy. <laughs> yeah. Then all those kind of products that dry really sit in everything, in every little, you know. Yeah. I feel it's kind of like that. <laughs> Again, trying to go over with this. It feels pretty buffed in, I think. I can't really buff, but with this kind of brush, I can carefully go over, you know. Yeah, it feels like at least. Now I'm taking this pressed meteorite in number two from uh, Gidlan. Color like a yellowy kind of color like that. Yeah, beige yellow. Not really yellow, but beige yellow. <laughs> Brush like that. Kind of going over it lightly. It is such a nice, like fine powder. I really enjoy it. And it doesn't, you know, It doesn't, of course, give you coverage, like I still see some redness peeking through here, but today I'm just gonna, you know, let it be the way it is. I don't use this one under the eyes since it does have some scent to it, you know. So I'm trying to be a little bit more, you know, over there I use uh, usually the Clarence pressed powder, which also has some kind of lightening. Not lightening, but there's some different colors in it, like uh, lilac and pink and a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's nice to so put it on the That's the Clarence one. And it does have, you know, those colors I in have it. Just pink here. And I'm going to use also kind of a pink, uh, really light uh, lipstick. I'm using this pink from Meshisado. And it's also kind of a really light one with a soft, small brush like that. So I love um, green and pink together. And I'm keeping it kind of up here. I would take a bigger brush to blend it. So for the lips I'm using this, uh, is it Maybelline? I didn't use it for a long time. Maybelline Rose Diamonds. It's one of those like really shimmery, sheeny colors. I'm just putting it on like this. It's like that, you know. And those are kind of slippery on the lips, but you know. Again, I don't need it on for a long time. That's the finished look. So have a really good day, a really good weekend, enjoy all your colors.